Hey guys, welcome back to the voyages of the Starship Bonehead. Right, well there's one thing that the Bonehead is missing, and that is a lander. And that's what we're going to uh, design and bring up here in this episode. So, let's go back to the Space Center. And now let's go design a ship. Okay, so, the first decision is, do we have a one-man lander or a two-man lander? And I've, uh, I'm still struggling with this. Like, a one-man lander is, like, way, way easier. Um, and like, am I... Uh, a two-man lander is just so much cooler. But, oh, I don't know. I, I think we're going to go... I think we're going to go with a one-man lander. I, I thought I was going to do a two-man lander, but I think it's going to be a one-man lander. Yeah, it is. Right, what else are we going to put on this thing, then? Right, well, we're going to have some science going on. Now, how much does this... This, is, this thing weighs, like... Uh, 0.66 of a ton right well let's um, let's go and see what we need science wise we're gonna need a science junior now this is lighter so I'm gonna put this on the top like that this is not gonna be a very sexy lander let me tell you uh, what are we gonna put on next well um, we're gonna need uh, a, um, a docking mechanism so um, what do I want that's in utility so we're gonna put a clampertron on the top do it like that. There we go. So this will dock onto the uh, onto the bonehead. Cool. Right. What else do we want? Well, we want some fuel and we want an engine. So fuel tanks. I think we're going to take one of these. Now this is kind of big and heavy, right? It, in fact, it's very big and heavy. Um, but I think it it provides a better platform for um, for putting your landing legs on. And it, it kind of gives us this, this kind of pyramid shape. It'll be a lot more stable, I think, than using a smaller fuel tank, uh, even though it's going to be heavier. So that's that. We're going to have an engine on this, of course. I think we're going to go with a little terrier. Just a little terrier on there. Cool. Right, then we want some uh, some landing struts, I think. And we're going to go with these um, LT1 landing struts. We could go with the micros, but we're going to go with these because they're a bit bit stronger, a bit nicer. Now, how many are we going to have? Well, we're going to have six, I think, just because it improves the stability. And the thing about this is that this is completely untested, this lander. Let me tell you. What am I doing? Uh, I want to get this up to six. This is completely, totally untested. Right, so we are venturing into the unknown. That's why I started a new series, because this is going to be like winging a prayer stuff. And if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Uh, right, what else do we want? Yeah, you know what? Let's um, let's extend these, I think, so that we can see what uh, what it's going to look. So there we go. Right, and we're clearing the engine at the bottom. So yeah, that's going to be good. I like that. I like the way that looks. Actually, that's kind of kind of cool, isn't it? Right. So that's that. We also need a ladder. Let's put a ladder on there. And we'll go with uh, we'll go with this one because this is a, uh, I think this is the slightly cooler one of the two that you've got. And where do I want it? I, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it there, I guess. Yeah. Now, in actual fact, for Minmus, you really don't need a ladder, uh, and I certainly don't need blooming six of them. So let's put. But I, you know, I just I just think it's kind of cool. So we're gonna put the ladder there, and. Uh, and the ladder will extend like that, right? Which is far longer than we actually need. But that'll be cool. That'd be very cool. Right, so we've got that. Let's um, let's retract the uh, the ladder. There we go, right? So we've got that sorted out, lovely. What the hell else are we gonna put on this? Well, we're gonna need some power, that's for sure. So we're going to need some photovoltaic cells, I think. Now we could, if like if we wanted to, we could put the extendy ones on, which would be kind of cool to look at. But I think it's a bit of overkill. So I think we're just going to go with uh, like standard. Oh, well, that's a radiator panel. Cool. I haven't used those yet. Uh, I want a, 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 a bog standard um, photovoltaic cell. Now, where am I going to put them? This is the question. Uh, and I'm. Thinking that we put them on here, so yeah. And I'm gonna want, yeah. Am I gonna want four of these? I think I probably am, you know, just for safety's sake. And then we want some batteries. And now 
I could put one of these on, but I think we'll just go with like a couple of these uh, standard ones. Cool, cool, that works. Right, now we need to be able to maneuver this thing. So we're gonna to have to put some command and control on here. So we're gonna to have to put some thruster blocks. Now, see, this is the other thing about using this thing compared to the two man. Um, because we're going to need some additional um, mono propellant. Let's have a look at the pods. Now, this thing only has 15 mono propellant, which is not a whole hell of a lot. The two man lander has 40, which is um, like significantly more. And it's kind of making me like really wonder whether I should change this. Now, I could add some mono propellant. Uh, where's, um, where's fuel? Here's fuel tanks. And I could add some mono propellant. I could like pop a couple of these on. Uh, which is, well, you know, I mean, it's like, it's a possibility. I, I, I kind of don't like much like the idea, but I don't know. Maybe we popped a couple of these on. Ooh. Actually, now I've put them on, I kind of, kind of like it. It makes it look more, more weird. And weird is good. Uh, you know what? Yeah, should we go with those? Shall we go with those? I think I think we shall. I think we shall. Right. You know what? We'll go with those. Um, now, where's our centre of mass? Our centre of mass is there. But by the time we come back to the ship, having gone down to the to Minmus or Mun or wherever, um, we're going to probably have used a fair amount of fuel. So this is going to move up slightly. So I think we're going to put our command and control just slightly higher. I think we're going to put them kind of like I don't know I don't know I mean we could mount them kind of like on the top edge of this which is probably you know it's probably the best place to put them uh, the question is because I've put six struts on uh, the placement of these is going to be now I could put just three which is very very weird if I put four then placing them becomes kind of awkward um, so you know what I'm gonna do? Am I? Oh, I'm really, I'm so in two minds about this lander. I really am. Um, I don't really want to put six on here. Uh, you know, I think what I'm gonna do is put those on there and I'm, I'm gonna reduce the, uh, the landing struts to four, which I kind of, I kind of like the idea of six, but four's probably going to be more sensible. So, yeah, we'll do that. God, this is a pretty ugly looking thing, isn't it? Oh, my Lord. Right, what have I forgotten? Um, I, I've forgotten to put the rest of the science instruments on because this is all about the science. We are being held back by a lack of science. Uh, we need, like, I'd love to take a rover up there, but we can't at the moment because we just don't have the science for it. Uh, and, and there's like a, a bunch of other stuff as well. So we're going to put a two hot thermometer on. We're going to put uh, a pressure map thing on there. And we're going to put a mystery goo on right now. Now, I could put these in kind of like a, a sexier arrangement, but kind of it the thing is this doesn't need to be like aerodynamic or anything so I don't know just like like that will do that will do nicely so um, now the thing is hang on a second hang on a second if I'm using a one man then I'm gonna have to potentially send a scientist down to um, so that he can reset these and maybe like go to a couple of locations or two or three locations even on one trip and then come back with a whole bunch of science but that means he's going to be able to need to reach this stuff so maybe it would yeah you know what I think it's going to be a good idea to place these in more accessible locations so let's put that there we'll put the two hot thermometer there and we'll put the mystery goo there right so when he pops out of the hatch he's going to be able to to reach these which is that's that's really important okay good okay this lander might actually work we've got um we've got our rcs system we've got our power system 
we've got all of our science, we can land, we've got an engine, we've got fuel. Alrighty, so all we need to do now is actually get this damn thing into space, which, uh, which should be okay. Now this thing, I'm going to guess that this thing is going to weigh around about uh, six tons, six and a half, something like that. Seven. A little bit more than I thought. Seven tons, good lord. So it's, it's, it's fairly heavy. Most of it is the fuel tank. Let me just show you. The, this fuel tank is like four and a half tons. So yeah, so the rest of the ship is only two and a half tons. It's all fuel. But that should mean that uh, it should be able to like hop around and go to like several locations in one trip or whatever and bring back a whole ton of science. I got my, you know, I, I, I'm starting to look at this and think, actually, that's quite cute. I'm kind of glad I added these um, these monopropellant things. I think it adds a little bit of character. And of course, this will be stuck on the side of the bonehead. So uh, yeah, all right. Let, well, let's get this thing up into space. What are we going to need? Well, we're uh, we're going to need to be able to detach the bottom section. So we'll put on a nice rocker max. Is that a that's a that's not a rocker max. We'll put a nice rocker max decoupler on it. Uh, but you, yeah, you know what? We're going to need a fairing for this. Oh yeah. The fairing is going to be bloomin' heavy though. That's the only problem. I'm wondering, like, do I even ignore the fairing and try and get this up without a fairing? I don't know. I don't know. Fairings are kind of cool though, aren't they? Do you want to see? Oh, yeah, well, you know what? We'll, we'll try it. We'll try it with a fairing. So, aerodynamics, and uh, here we go. And these, these big ones are just like freaking so heavy so we'd have to come out kind of like uh, that then go up to about there then we can come up to like there and then put a pointy bit on the top boom right there is our fairing so our ship is nicely tucked away in there very cool uh, okay now, the, uh, do I need to put something on to detach that? Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I do, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I think I need a that on there. Then this. All right, then I've got to redo this. Oh, good lord! Edit the fairing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 weird, weird stuff is happening. Let's go back. Okay, so we want to come out like, and then the pointy bit. There we go, right, so we've got our fairing on there. All right, cool. So we've got our uh, decoupler, we've got our fairing. What else do we want? Well, I think now we just want to stick a bonehead heavy on there, but let's see, like, what's the weight of this now? Oh wow, that's only 7.4 tons. Have they decreased the weight of this thing? Let's grab um, sub-assemblies. Bonehead heavy. Pop that on the bottom there. Ah, now. <laughs> that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Because these are kind of attached to this and that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good at all. So... Huh. What are we going to do about that? Well, you know what we could do? We could take up some extra fuel, which might be an idea if I can actually get the thing into orbit. Uh, you, you know what? Let's give it a try. This, Guys, this may be a spectacular failure, but we're going to try. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take another Rocker Max uh, like that. Okay, finally, I got the uh, I got the fairing to actually go on. So yeah, we're looking okay. So I guess all we need to do is um, pop a couple of struts on, and we're done. Hopefully. So hang on, let's go to uh, structural, grab some struts, and we want uh, let's see, we want four of these, and we want it to go from about there 
out to there. Right. Okay. Well, we've we've got our uh, we've got our lander. We've got our delivery vehicle. Uh, we do need somebody to actually fly this, and that is actually a bit of an issue because right now we don't have anybody to fly this. So we're gonna have to recruit a pilot. <laughs> right. So you know what? Let me save this, and we'll go and grab a pilot. Okay, so to recruit a pilot, we uh, we need to go over here to our astronaut uh, center, and we need to recruit somebody. Now, who have we got? We've got uh, we got a but we got a bunch. Now, now these guys are expensive though. They're like a hundred and thirty eight thousand to hire one of these guys. But do we take? Uh, we've got two pilots that we can hire. We've got Anfal, and we've got Catbeth. Um, well, I think women are under underrepresented, and look at this. Look at the courage. Incredibly courageous, and hardly stupid at all. Right, we're taking Catbeth. So, boom, we've just rec uh, recruited Catbeth. Now, we've got a whole bunch of um, sightseers here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with them. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that later. Right, look, for now, let's just get this damn thing into space. Oh, I, you know, I almost forgot something. Because we're taking up um, extra fuel, and I want the chance, at least, to be able to drain off uh, that extra fuel, we need to be able to dock with this uh, this. Module. You know, I'm kind of sort of tempted to empty this and, like, save some weight, because this is going to be quite heavy with this extra fuel tank added. Um, so I'm going to cut down the fuel on that, but because we can we can drain some fuel that's left over from this into this later. I'm going to put um, a clampertron on here. Um, where am I going to put the clampertron? Probably, probably going to put it in, like in the middle, and we'll put one on one on each side so it's so it's balanced. So like that. So I can approach this from uh, from either side and drain off the fuel. Could use a tug for that, probably. All right, okay. Should we get it into space? Let's do it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go and check on the position of the BISS. Now the BISS is over here, all right? Uh, so we want this to uh, to be kinda over here before we, uh, before we launch. So, right, let's... Um, Speed this up a little bit and get the, the BISS round here. Here it comes. We want it probably probably mid ocean. About kinda of, sorta of there ish. Uh, about about there. Right, that'll do. That'll do pig. Right, let's get back to uh, let's get back to the launch pad. Oh, I've I've got a bit I'm kinda of nervous about this. Right, let's turn SAS on. Let's throttle to max and, oh, you know what? Hang on a second. Man, I almost forgot the staging. Uh, okay, the f deploying the fairing needs to go up there and detaching that needs to go up to there. Okay, then we're good. <laughs> oh man, that would have been disaster. Okay, let's do this. Ignition. And we have liftoff of Bonehead Lander Mark 1. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I must admit, I'm kind of excited. Man, this thing is heavy. Jeez. Seriously, this thing is, this thing really is heavy. Let's, um, let's try and get a few degrees on this to uh, help us out. Save a bit of fuel, if we possibly can. Once we, uh, we'll do the standard thing. Once we get over 100 meters per second, I'll probably throttle back on the main engine because um, we don't want to be going too fast too soon. Let's get that back to about 50%. Yeah, we're still increasing. At this point, it's it's like try and stay below kind of 250 meters per second until we're at least over um, 10,000. Okay, we're about to jetson the first day, uh, the first boosters. Boom! Whoa! Just about cleared them. Right now, we can begin our uh, our gravity turn. We're over ten thousand now. Let's turn. 
is going fairly nicely so far. Here we go. But we don't want to push it too far too fast. A little bit more. Let's get her over towards uh, 45 degrees. There we go. Alright, she settled down nicely. We're just about to jettison the second set of tanks. Boom, away they go. Oh, that worked pretty nicely. Let's, um, let's crank up our thrust to maximum. And now we'll start to tip this over a bit more. Because what we want is some um, speed. We're over 35,000. And let's check our apoapsis. How are we doing? Oh, man, we're almost, uh, we're almost up there. Almost up there. I'm going to probably take this up to about 80,000, which is a nice comfortable orbit. So 75 and 80, that'll do. Right, that'll do, pig. Right, let's uh, set a maneuver at the apoapsis. Oh, come on. Add maneuver. Right, and we just want to nice standard orbit nothing special okay let's do this uh, we need to kick this burn off like now so thrust to max I'm gonna get onto the uh, maneuver icon there we go nicely positioned so all we need to do is finish this burn and actually we're looking pretty good on this burn to be honest to be honest, guys, I'm reasonably happy with this. I'll tell you, I was a little bit nervous about getting this up in the air, but uh, it's going pretty nicely so far. I'm getting ready to cancel the engines. Four, three, two, one. Right, and then we'll just adjust this. So, 64, we want a little bit more than that. So, let's have uh, a little bit of thrust. 70, I'm gonna bring it up to like 85 or something like that. Yeah. Okay, now that'll do, because we've, we've been pushed out too far on the apoapsis. But if you balance these out, then we're at about 80, we're at about 92 as an average. Now the BISS, where is the BISS? The BISS is slightly ahead of us, and that's at 96. So we're actually gonna be catching it up slowly. Um, but that's good. So, you know what, well, I'll, um, I'll correct our orbit. I'll probably speed up slightly. So, um, I'll, probably, I'll probably wait till I get round to the periapsis and then bring the apoapsis down a little bit with a, with a small retro burn. But um, yeah, I'll get, I'll get back to you when we're, uh, when we're getting close to the, to the bonehead. Okay, things are looking pretty good. Here's the BISS. We're just slightly in front of the BISS now, but at the next intersect, we're only 2.6 kilometers away, which is um, pretty damn awesome. So let's get ourselves in position, ready for this. So there it is, it's 7.2 kilometers away coming in. We need to be uh, pointing towards uh, our target prograde. Uh, but you know what, I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer let's get it down to about four kilometers there we go right right now where the hell is uh, is our target program uh, this is really horrible to steer guys it, uh, really horrible to steer I, I, I really wish I put a reaction wheel on this damn thing right so let's get this back over here a little bit Okay, right now we can do a burn and get rid of some of this speed. Uh, so let's take off some of this. Okay, we're drifting a little bit. Let's try and stay uh, reasonably close to the uh, the retrograde icon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come up a little bit. Let's get a little bit more of this off. There we go, a little bit more, there we go. Okay, now we've got to try and find the pink prograde icon. 
Jeez, this could take a while, guys. You know what? Because um, because this is so horrible to steer, this is going to take me a little while to uh, to do. So you know what? We'll we'll do it after I. We'll come back to this after I've kind of like got us really close. Uh, but what we will do? We will deploy our protective shell. Get rid of that. Boom, and expose the lander. Very nice. Okay, man, let me tell you, I'm going to completely fess up. That took some time. This is just, without a reaction, on wheel, a reaction wheel on here, it's horrendous to try and steer this damn thing. Okay, what I'm going to try and do now is, um, is get me pointed a little bit closer to this. I want to be just bring this up just a little bit and then we're gonna separate and dock right what i'm going to do i'm going to click on uh, the fuel tank here and then i'm going to all click on this fuel tank and i'm going to transfer out as um yeah i'm going to transfer out as much liquid fuel and uh, and oxidizer as I can. Get this nice and full, and then the rest of it we'll uh, we'll get with the uh, with the, our little tug, the, uh, the the no mercy space tug. Right, having done that, oh, we can now actually separate this thing. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed that I've got this right. Yes. All right. Cool. Okay, so let's go and dock this before this gets um, too far away. So here we are. Now we want just a little bit of a nudge forward. Hopefully, let's start the engine. There we go. Now we're now we're rocking. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up a little bit because um, I don't want the um, the fuel tank getting like too far away for the uh, for the space tug right let's uh, let's spin this baby around a little bit so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, orient this to the retrograde which should be kind of over here ish here we go man this is so much easier to do <laughs> now that I can actually steer the damn ship Okay, so I want this like pretty much opposite here. So I'm going to let this come across and then I'm going to cancel our speed. So about, about there. Let's just cancel off the speed. Oh. oh, and that's pretty much it. Right, now we can uh, oh, spin this baby around again. And what I'm going to do... I'm going to actually align this properly. There we go. Right. Ah, now things do what I want them to do. Excellent. Right, so there, we're now pointing to the prograde. And let's tip this down a little bit. You know what? Let's target this port. Let's target that docking port. There we go. Right, so now I can point directly at the docking point. There we go. Let's have a little nudge forward. All right. All right. I think we can speed this up a little bit. Here it comes. Okay, we do. We're doing pretty well. I think at this point we'll turn RCS on, and then uh, we'll just do some some fine tuning. So we want to. First of all, I'm going to point the nose up a little bit. And then we're not. I've got to say we're not we're not like a million miles off. We want to come up a little bit. So let's have a little um, uh, little nudge upwards. There we go. Bring ourselves up. Oh, <laughs> I do love docking. Right, that's probably enough. Let's cancel that. There we go. Right, let's uh, speed things up a little bit, see where we're going. Okay, we're drifting a little bit to that side. So let's, oops, wrong way, nudge a little bit that way. 
Oh, 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 a little bit too much. A little bit too much. So we want to come back that way. Down a tiny bit. Oh, okay. Drifting a little bit that way. Okay. Right, now we can uh, we can nudge forward a little bit, I think. Let's push ourselves forward a little bit. Coming at four meters per second, which is um, fairly quickly. But yeah, we're looking in good shape. Let's speed this up just a touch, get us a bit closer. Oh, look how fast that comes in. Right, I'm gonna slow our approach down to about two meters per second. And then we're just going to adjust downwards a little bit. Well, oh, that way. Ooh, oh, 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 looking good. Looking good. Let's cancel that a little bit. Okay. Speed up a little bit. Okay. Just want to nudge up a little bit. Speed it up. Oh, that's coming in pretty damn nicely. Are we nice and straight? I think we almost are. We just want to turn a little bit round that way. And I think if we turn off SAS, I think we're going to dock. Oh, oh, let's turn just a touch. Whoa, oh, that's a touch too much. There we go. And, and bingo. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's spinning round and round. Are we going to get a hard seal? Come on, we've got SAS. There we go. And now we've got our lander attached. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And now we're kind of balanced with the uh, the lander on this side and the space tug on this side. Okay, you know what? I need to do uh, detach the space tug and uh, and go and refuel. Um, I, I tell you what I'm going to do. Like, do you want to see that? If you want to see that, drop me a comment and uh, I'll kind of show that at the beginning of the next episode. Uh, if you don't want to see it, leave me a comment and just say, nah, skip it. Uh, I'll go and grab some fuel. I am going to do have, have to do um, a, a crew resupply mission. Uh, I'll have to send up an unpiloted ship. We've got too many people up here at the moment. I'm going to have to ship some of them back down to, uh, to Kerbin. Uh, again, if you want to see that, let me know. If you don't want to see that, let me know. Uh, if um, if you've got opinions about whether we should leave this section behind as a, as a refueling, we could dock the lander and the tug on these sections here and leave this section behind and then do a re whole refueling thing here. Uh, if you want me to take it with me, uh, then let me know. So, lots of things for you to comment on. I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm really excited about this lander. I will see you for the next one, guys. Peace out.